Hey guys, it's Retro, and today we're going to be talking about Hey Pikmin, the first Pikmin game to ever grace the 3DS, also the first Pikmin game to ever play in 2D. Now this game has gotten a lot of flack over the years, but I still think it's worth talking about, so let's get into it. Hey Pikmin was developed by Arzest, the same studio behind Yoshi's Island DS and Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. It was originally announced in September 2016, and was released in July 2017 in Japan and North America, and a few weeks later in Europe and Australia. The plot of Hey Pikmin is pretty straightforward. Captain Olimar is flying through space when his ship crashes on a strange planet. He soon discovers that his ship is missing key components and sets out to retrieve them with the help of the Pikmin. Along the way, he'll encounter various creatures and obstacles, including some familiar faces from the previous Pikmin games. So this game basically goes back to the basics. We're playing almost the exact same plot as the first one, but, you know, obviously different. And that's mainly just because of the gameplay. Hey Pikmin is a 2D platformer which is a departure from the 3D strategy gameplay of the previous Pikmin games. The game is played entirely on the 3DS touchscreen, with Olimar and Pikmin moving automatically as you guide them with the stylus. You can tap the Pikmin to throw them at enemies, obstacles, or items to collect, and different types of Pikmin have different abilities that you'll need to utilize to progress through the levels. The levels are divided into stages, with a set goal to accomplish within each stage, typically collecting a certain number of ship parts. Unlike the previous Pikmin games, Hey Pikmin doesn't have a day or night cycle, and takes place entirely during the day. The game also does not have a time limit, allowing players to take their time exploring each stage at their own pace. Additionally, Hey Pikmin features a smaller section of Pikmin types than previous games. Red, blue, yellow, rock, and pink. My boy purple got left behind! Each type has different abilities that are necessary to progress through the levels. For example, the rock Pikmin can break through tough obstacles, while the wing Pikmin can fly over gaps and reach high places. So pretty much the same niche uses that the Pikmin have always had. Overall, Hey Pikmin offers a pretty different experience than the previous Pikmin games, with a more streamlined and accessible gameplay approach that focuses more on puzzle solving and finding secrets. Hey Pikmin also incorporates some pretty unique features due in part to the 3DS's capabilities. When it comes to its strengths, Hey Pikmin is a charming game with adorable visuals and an upbeat soundtrack. The gameplay is accessible and easy to pick up, and the use of the 3DS's capabilities was a nice touch. However, some fans were completely disappointed by the departure from the 3D strategy gameplay of the previous Pikmin games, and the levels can feel a bit repetitive at times. But how was it critically? Hey Pikmin received mixed reviews upon release, with some praising its accessibility and charming visuals, while others criticized its lack of innovation and simplistic gameplay. It's worth noting that the game did not sell as well as the other Pikmin titles, and it's unclear whether we'll ever see a sequel. So in conclusion, Hey Pikmin may not be the most groundbreaking of the Pikmin series, but it's still a fun and enjoyable game in its own right. I almost want to compare it to Chibi Robo Ziplash, but just being a bit better. You take a fun 3D game from the GameCube and then turn it into a 2D game to kind of just give something to the people that's a little bit more accessible and maybe bring in new fans to the series. However, unlike Chibi Robo Ziplash, it just doesn't feel as soulless and has a lot of the fun charm that the original Pikmin games have, including the visuals and just seeing the fun characters that we know and love. So if you are a fan of the Pikmin franchise, or you're just looking for something fun and simple to play on your 3DS to pass some time, Hey Pikmin is actually worth checking out. So there you have it. Hey Pikmin in a nutshell. It may not be everyone's cup of nectar, but it is an interesting addition to the Pikmin series. Yeah, that's gonna do it though. I'll see you guys next time and uh...